This is the kitten that crawled into a rear axle, according to mechanics of a front-wheel drive car. Fortunately, there are no moving parts in that rear axle, but still he was trapped there until he was birthed into his second of nine lives by the service manager of this tire center in Palm Bay. I tell them, I tell everyone that comes in here, it doesn't matter what it is. With your automobile, I'll do whatever I can do to help you. Joe's trying to get a cat out of a car. Basically, you know, the gentleman came in, uh, told me that he had uh, some meowing in the back of the car that he'd been hearing for the past few days. Um, went outside and crawled underneath the back of the car. I couldn't really visibly see anything. So I put it up on the alignment rack and lo and behold, I started hearing the meowing. So I put it on that rack, the way the, the weight of the vehicle will keep the suspension loaded down. That way the control arm was up to give me enough room to access the back of the vehicle. Gave me enough room just to pull them out of there. Pulling a cat out of the tube of a car, the axle tube. They have a, an axle tube in the back that he had climbed up in. Um, so I stuck my hand up in there and ended up fishing him out. I got you, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's a tiny kitten. Uh, I, I warmed the water up in the tub out there and used some Dawn dish soap and cleaned him up. and Not a scratch or anything. Had a couple little hitchhikers in his head, but... Cut him out, clean him up, I took him home and, and I adopted it. So now my three-year-old daughter has a, a new pet. So a little early birthday present for her. It's not often you hear a bunch of mechanics say, aw, oh, in unison. That's exactly what this guy did. His name? Lucky Gatto's, of course, named after the tire center. In Palm Bay, Daryl Nail, Fox News.